All right, greetings. See a few folks in the line. We'll hold for everybody to come on in. All right, Emily, we're at 22, so I think we can probably go and get started. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. It's April 4th. As a quick reminder, your attendance in these meetings uh, complies with the Linux Foundation's antitrust policy notice. A few notes on logistics um, on the slide. If you have any questions, please jump over to the TOC repo for more information on our meeting schedules. Um, TOC members present today. And and onto our agenda, we've got some tag updates and some questions. TOC members will provide will also be providing updates on where projects moving levels are at the end of the discussion today. All right, let's get started with tag storage. Who do we have from tag storage today? Hi, Shane. Oh. Uh, so from tag storage. We had a presentation from the project Pelican in our last meeting. Uh, Pelican is a project for in-memory caching. It's a fork for an open source project under Twitter. The maintainer who gave the presentation was a former Twitter employee. Uh, they are looking for advice on how to grow their community. So we recommend them to donate the project to CNCF. Uh, they are interested. There isn't a project for in-memory caching in CNCF currently, so this uh, seems to be a good candidate. Also, the project has been used by Twitter in production internally, uh, so uh, it's probably production ready. Uh, we need to figure out some potential uh, issues with copyright and uh, license because it's a fork for of an open source project under the Twitter GitHub org. Maybe it needs to be renamed or the name needs to be donated to CNCF by Twitter. Can you toss a link into Slack? Do you have that handy? Uh, yeah. Over into chat. Sure, sure. Okay. Or if somebody else has it, like I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I, I'm I have it, yeah, let me actually, uh, uh, let's see. Just uh, copy this. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, but it seemed relevant as far as like, oh, hey, can, can we look at it? Oh, yeah, okay. link. I did not have found that, thank you. Okay. And we also have uh, uh, other projects, project uh, uh, Probiga and Xling coming to do presentations in the next few meetings. Probiga is currently in uh, it's currently a sandbox project in CNCF, and Xlink is applying for sandbox. And we also made a great progress on the white paper that we are collaborating uh, with the DOK community. The first draft is ready for review. So 
Would that's you send awesome. that out to the TOC mailing list so that the community has an opportunity to take a look at it? Or if it was already there, I must have missed it. Oh, I was just thinking it's it's a little early still. I okay. would like to get more feedback from the uh, DOK community, the data uh, on Kubernetes community, before we send it out for general review. Okay. Let us know when that's ready. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's all from me. Any questions? Uh, TOC members, do you have any additional questions? No? Okay, let's move on. Thanks. Tag security. Awesome. Um, so just a couple quick updates. Uh, it's going to be a quick one from last time. Um, the KubeCon EU Security Village uh, schedule is now out. We do have an unconference. We are soliciting additional um, additional input on the topics that I'm going to talk about. Uh, there should be a, a doc or a, a hack that empty that will be coming out. Uh, we're hoping to get um, some topics to see how we can break out the sessions there. But um, this is going to be the first uh, Security Village that we do. So we are very excited on how it's going to turn out. Um, the work on from the supply chain working group, we started working on a, a paper called What is a Secure Supply Chain Policy? Um, essentially, this was about, um, you know, how do I make a policy uh, around supply chain? What are the things that I should check for and how should I be checking for them? Um, and as a group discussed, we, we eventually um, settled on a rescoping of the topic to be supply chain security expectations versus realities for executives. And so the, the new goal for this, this piece of work here is to uh, have a short document about like less than 10 pages to kind of talk a little bit about when you are looking at supply chain um, uh, security uh, as an executive in a cloud native space, what are things like broad um, kind of mindset changes that you may have to, to think about. So uh, it breaks down to three three main topics like securing over time. You know, if lock for lock for shell was released um, today, it doesn't mean that it wasn't in your cluster the the, the day before. Um, security over the uncertainty, thinking about you know known unknowns, unknown unknowns and how to protect against that. And securing a scale in terms of you know how do I um, then scale controls out around, you know, knowing how to secure over uncertainty and time throughout my entire organization. Um, so th this is the rescoping of the work. Um, there's already a good outline in the documents, which is linked from the issue. Um, so if, if folks are interested in, in that or have any other ideas on what should be covered, um, uh, that, that issue number should lead to that. Um, one last thing that I wanted to highlight is we, we made a proposal to spread out chat terms um, a while back. Uh, the background context on this is we have two of the three chats having the terms end at the same time. And the idea behind that is we hope to spread out the terms so we have like a little bit more continuity um, and also have ability to um, do a chat knowledge transfer a little bit. Uh, easily. And that's it. Okay. Um, so first question is, where can folks that are interested in the unconference for the Security Village submit suggestions of topics? So I believe there is, um, I'll put the link in the chat, but there should be, um, it should be on the coupon schedule. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll drop the link in the chat right after this. Thanks. Um, and TOC members, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at that message, please do so. Um, if you have any questions, please direct them to the security tag chairs around um, background and reasoning for those chair terms, but we should be able to unblock them um, so they can move forward with their election. Any other questions for tag security? All right, let's move on. Tag run time. All right. Uh, so today, um, hi everyone. This is Eva. Uh, happy to pre present the tag uh, run time today. 
So for that grant time uh, about the presentation and communities, we had a couple of projects to present um, at our PI weekly meetings like CRI uh, O and CADA uh, for graduation and the Karmada for incubation. Great progress uh, that we can notice uh, for all these projects uh, and the grass in adoption and contributors. Um, so, for example, Karmada, they had many uh, integrations with other uh, CNCF projects like Argo CD, uh, Cube Edge, and other long list actually of uh, CNCF projects, in addition uh, of the growth in adoptions like uh, China Mobile and other 15 uh, uh, adopters. Uh, and also the number of contributors has been increased by 50 uh, compared to the sandbox. Uh, and uh, 3,000 stars, uh, which is, you know, like um, uh, in addition to a really good uh, roadmap. Uh, when it comes to CADA, um, uh, it's like the project uh, has had reached like 6,000 stars, more than two, uh, 260 contributors in, and across like 280. So uh, since the incubation, uh, so it's it's like a great progress. We can see, uh, uh, we can see from uh, the maintainers and contributors in general, uh, and also the the roadmap plan was was really great. We had a very good conversation with all the projects that had presented to the tag runtime, and uh, we had a couple of feedbacks. These feedbacks have been captured either in the meeting notes or in, in the GitHub uh, issues. Um, so yeah, and also we have a very busy scheduler in, uh, in the upcoming meetings. Many projects have already been signed up to present, like uh, ZOT, Kepler, Cube Marine, Racer, in addition to other uh, projects that we already reached out to. So we are thinking about increasing uh, the meeting uh, cadence to be a weekly instead of bi-weekly. Uh, because we have multiple projects that we wanted, uh, they wanted to present at the same day. And for that, um, we wanted to call out that, you know, like Tag Runtime is looking for more contributors to help with that workload we are expecting and actually we, we already have. Uh, any question related to that? All right. So moving to the activities, uh, we have a couple of uh, work uh, work groups. So the first one, the IUT Edge work group, uh, which is continuing uh, on, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> continuing working on the Edge native application principle uh, white paper, in addition to uh, working on the Edge native landscape, uh, which reached like 156 projects so far. And one great thing that we wanted to mention that uh, the work group uh, has invited Larry Peterson, the CTO of the Open um, Networking Foundation, to present on April 5th uh, as one of the uh, biggest name in software defined networking, uh, both in academically and industry. Uh, he will discuss software defined networking uh, and the Open Networking Foundation. Uh, this talk would be very interested to um, uh, invite uh, all of you to attend at your convenience. Um, one more thing uh, that we noticed that the KCB, uh, the Kubernetes Live Control Plane Edge, um, uh, the folks from KCB, uh, which already actually applied to send the sandbox, to be a sandbox, have been collaborated uh, with the IT Edge Working Group uh, on a consistent space. So Nikita thankfully just reached out to them and they invited uh, them over to present to Tag Runtime uh, meeting. Uh, hopefully they, uh, they will uh, sign up uh, uh, soon. Um, moving to um, the patch system uh, work group. Uh, they are still continue working on uh, the CNCF patch landscape. And uh, for the container orchestration device, uh, they're working on uh, CDI support in Singularity Merged. And uh, the feature actually, uh, to add the CDI support in container D uh, is already exist uh, in 1.7, which was released recently. And this feature the, uh, is very important to the DRA uh, work that which are or they are already in, you know like working on at the same time, uh, which implemented you know like implementing and uh, and you know like uh, enhanced you know like in the last two uh, releases of Kubernetes 1.26 and 1.27. Uh, finally, talking about KubeCon 23 in EU. 
So the tag runtime uh, has scheduled uh, a four um, a four uh, four hours meeting, uh, so folks can come, uh, come and go, meet and you know like meet anytime, uh, and we encourage uh, if. Uh, you know, like if we can spread the word, the word uh, that if anyone wanted like a dedicated meeting, it would be great if they uh, reach out to the tag runtime uh, Slack channel and uh, we can try coordinate this meeting in advance. And uh, another good thing to end this with that the Kubernetes on Edge Day is already sold out. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Fantastic. Looks like Tag Runtime has been super busy and a lot of things have just popped out of the queue. Does anyone have any questions? All right, let's move on to the next one. Observability. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, uh, we've got a couple updates. Um, the last month uh, in the lead up to KubeCon has been pretty much in the tag largely about uh, a working group. Uh, that we'd like to launch. Um, we talked about it briefly last month uh, in our update. Um, there's a TOC issue um, uh, as of this morning. Sorry to sneak attack anyone, um, but there's a link to the actual document in there. Uh, it's also in the slide. Uh, that's gone through several rounds of community review. Uh, it's been driven. Um, uh, it's been driven by uh, Chris Larson from from Netflix uh, and VJ from eBay. And they've kind of, uh, you know, they've been establishing a, a, a lot of um, a lot of buzz and a lot of activity and interest around getting reviews uh, on the document. There's been a bunch of updates, and it's, it's probably time to um, put this on the TOC's radar formally and say, hey, we'd like to launch a working group. Uh, they will be the chairs, and I think we have a lot of interest from the TAG membership. Um, I can be brief and be done there, or speak speak to it at another level of detail. Just let me know, but. Um, uh, in Q&A, but we're moving on. Um, uh, I put it, links to our last three meetings. Um, another thing we mentioned uh, last last month uh, was uh, Pixie had come uh, late in February to give an update um, that really uh, was was fairly uh, 30 or 40 minutes. It was good um, with, with a lot of good Q&A. Um, and they covered the growth of their community, how they're engaging with it, topics like stabilization of the code base and moving to semantic versioning. Um, they had some discussion around CICD deployment models, the work that's been gone on to make it a little more turnkey to work uh, on Kubernetes, um, you know, polish on the Helm chart and things like that. And they did a demo. Um, I believe they're looking for a TOC sponsor, but I haven't talked to Zane in a, in a week or two. Um, uh, and they've made a, a, an incubation uh, proposal. Uh, the other two meetings there, uh, if anyone wanted another, another level of detail to see um, uh, what, what, what's what been going into that document, uh, but but we, as I said, we, we largely discussed the working group proposal and charter and the scope of it and all of that. Um, and then uh, we've been doing some KubeCon planning. Um, we've got a maintainer track talk uh, in, in the EU uh, KubeCon that um, uh, Alalita will be giving. Um, there's also observability day with a ton of planning uh, that's gone into the to the CFP. Um, uh, that that committee's been really driving hard as well from the outside looking in. Um, uh, and and then um, this the last the last two points are, are Alalita's, um, but uh, I believe that we'll have representation at that meeting um, in a few weeks in April. All right. Any questions? Oh, lastly, uh, uh, the profiling work in open telemetry has really transitioned entirely to open telemetry at this point. Um, so, the, so the so the tags doesn't have any activity there. It's been, it didn't successfully transition. Um, All right. That's fantastic. Okay, let's move on. Environmental sustainability. All right. Hi, everyone. It's Max speaking. Um, yeah, we're very much excited about the uh, KubeCon EU. We're going to have a tech project meeting, uh, planning out some uh, agenda and what we're going to do there. Um, most likely we will present some of the survey results, uh, discuss about a couple of uh, documents which we have currently in pre-review um, and looking forward to get them done until KubeCon, um, as well as to try to do a kind of micro workshop 
um, for a topic which comes in the end of the presentation too. Um, yeah, beside that, we have the environmental sustainability survey results. Uh, we're currently drafting a blog post uh, together for releasing and publishing it um, and do some final mockups on the on the slides itself. Um, we had in the last month a presentation from Cube Green, um, it's not written here, and we're looking forward also to see Kepler on the 12th of April. Uh, maybe we can do it with the other tech together, so Kepler doesn't need to present it twice. Um, nevertheless, it's for us quite interesting and relevant to see how they do their measurement on the on the system and how it can help to identify basically the uh, resource consumption, um, especially in the uh, energy consumption. Mm. And then last but not least, and I would say this is the most interesting topic which we currently have in there, is a proposal to um, define a measurement and an approach for the CNCF projects to give a baseline and an understanding of their software carbon intensity footprint per each of the projects. Um, and uh, in this regard, we are already talking with Falco, or better to say, Falco approached us and said, like, hey, we are very much interested in to understand like how energy hungry is our system and how we can improve it and what are the next steps. Um, so there will be the uh, best next test candidate. Uh, we had already a first discussion on that, and they're happy to um, to be the the test candidate in this case. Um, and yeah, when we have identified whether which which approach is the best to to yeah, provide this baseline um, for for a project, um, the idea here is to make a simple approach which can everyone basically copy paste, which is maybe not that uh, precise, but a good starting point. And then a more complex approach for, um, yeah, uh, practically break it down for for each individual system. Um, we try to to formalize a way that that everyone can utilize this, and that we can help the projects to to get their understanding of their own uh, power consumption. That's fantastic. Um, so for the survey that was done are you do you have any activities that are being planned as a result of the outcome of that that survey um so we have two two outcomes the one regards to the survey is like to get a little bit better the the question which we are asking maybe breaking it into directions because we have seen that um a large group of the participants either are live more in just a pure cloud environment or they live pure in a real data center environment. And though the one or the other question do not really apply for the one or another user group, and then the survey re results looks very, very different partially. Um, so therefore we are thinking about to, to changing here the approach a little bit. Um, besides of that, um, we try to break down some, um, yeah, initiatives out of it, as we see that there are some common challenges in like, uh, defining the starting point of how do we can um, make something valuable out of the approaches which we take to maybe reduce and optimize our infrastructure and how we can make it visible. Um, obviously, they can reduce some uh, amount of the infrastructure, but which impact does it have? And sometimes region based, for example, it can get very complicated at this point, um, but sometimes it's because of the region that um, if I run it in Germany, the system itself, I can optimize it as much as I want, but currently the energy mix is not that good as like in Finland, for example. So it sounds like there's still a lot of work yet to be done with that results. Always. All right. Any other questions? Okay, moving on. Contributor strategy. Hi, uh, this is Catherine. Um, yeah, so for KubeCon, uh, we have our second kiosk this time, and we hope and are that we are better prepared. We're going to have a handout and some more things to get uh, the word out, um, because as you know, it's really important that projects know about us, because uh, there's a lot of help here. And then just as a reminder for everyone, we have a keynote. Don is going to do a keynote. It's very excited about that, about building a sustainable CNCF project and contributor base. And then we have a panel where this time we're going to talk about what we get out of this 
And hopefully that will um, motivate people to participate as well. We've been always talking about what the tag does. This time we're saying like, well, actually it's not only giving, like we get a lot of it out of it too. So a new, new strategy, new angle, hopefully we'll get more people engaged. Uh, and then Maintainer Circle, we're gonna have uh, one at KubeCon. Uh, the exact name is not very sure, but it's gonna be about bringing end users into the project communities and engage with them. Uh, so that's gonna be on Wednesday at 11 a.m. And then on the contributor growth side, uh, we have a new page, which helps um, newbies to get started with open source, lots of valuable information in there. And then finally live, we did a video uh, talking about the contributor survey. Uh, it took a long while, but it's finally live. Um, so there is a link there, please share it with your community. And then we have a new fa facilitator. Uh, Rian Kleinhaus uh, is uh, going to facilitate the contributor growth meeting, a working group. So excited about that. And then we are participating in Google season of docs, uh, Taranga Kids Day and KubeCon EU Kids Day. And on the mentorship uh, side, we have, we'll have we have um, office hours on Wednesday at 2.30. And the uh, repo is getting an update to make it a little bit more user friendly for mentors and mentees. And then on the governance side, uh, the team is working uh, with the Backstage project to get that, uh, to help them in that regard. And then last but not least, a quick reminder to everyone, please encourage all the projects to reach out to the tag. We're here to help uh, whenever you talk to, uh, to them. Thank you. Awesome. Any questions for contributor strategy? Okay. Moving on. App delivery. Yeah. Uh, hello. Alice here. Update on tag app delivery. First one, we really up leveled our web property. And by we actually, we mean the tag together with tremendous support from the CNCF helping us to get this done. So there's now a dedicated website for tag app delivery where there's general information, the white papers and the blogs out there. So we're very excited about this. It also helps us to share our content better than uh, we could do in the past. And again, also shout out to the support from the CNCF who helped us tremendously getting this done. Uh, platform white paper, this is now ready. This was already sent out a while back um, to the various mailing lists. A blog post and a PDF version will be available by mid-April, so well before KubeCon, targeting next week. And together with Tech Contribution Strategy, we are also targeting a survey. Link is here as well, specifically around platform engineering and how internal platforms are built. Uh, the team is also currently looking into building an example platform. So the issue is linked here as well. This is still an early stage. The idea is showing people how you can use CNCF projects and can combine them together uh, to build a platform because most of the building blocks are actually there. Um, uh, now that I think everybody's aware of the CNCF landscape made into a puzzle, this is actually about assembling that puzzle and seeing how well the individual pieces fit together. Again, the idea is not to create like the one platform, but to share examples of how you can use different projects uh, together. Uh, there was an initiative driven by Open. GitOps initially, uh, it's really about improvement. It started as searchability for artifacts, but now actually merged into improved metadata. So how can I find certain artifacts in an artifact store? As we all know, it's not just container images there, it's a lot of different topics. This is uh, also ongoing right now. There's collaboration obviously with OCI, Auras, and the Artifact Hub to move this forward. So the idea is it, that we have just have standardized metadata that you can use and the people hopefully also use that they can search the repositories and find uh, what they're looking for. I think this goes from everything from uh, what type of artifact that you're dealing with, how you name it, versioning, and so forth. On KubeCon EU, uh, there's a meetup planned on Tuesday. Now we can actually link to a blog on our fancy new website that we have, where you find all the details. Uh, we have a booth also in the project pavilion for discussions and meetups. So we're also inviting people to give like lightning talks and engage with us on specific topics. So there's a dedicated calendar for this as well. That's still under preparation. And there is also a session on uh, cloud applications and by applications, we mean application definitions, platform and operators. So covering uh, the main topics uh, we're working on right now. 
And under the other section, there is still um, that one Google Doc that uh, was started a while back on how do we define an application in Kubernetes. Um, I think long story short, there's like lots of comments in there that go in a very different directions. We're still working this in. What we also discussed in um, one of the last meetings is that we're looking at how would you define an application using the various approaches that are currently available in CNCF projects. So not like starting theory first, like what do we want it to look like, but what are your options right now? Where are similarities? Where can we, um, what kind of can we agree on? So, so basically this is taking the idea of um, like the standard application focused uh, text that you could use on your Kubernetes resource, like one step further ahead to define, like this is my application or a more, it's a larger atomic set um, than what you would have with, uh, with Kubernetes primitives. Very early stage. Interestingly, everybody agrees on the problems, like everybody loves the problem, but we're not yet at the point where we are clear what the solution is going to be going forward. That's it. Question. Okay. Um, for individuals that are interested in contributing to or getting involved in the package management metadata discussion, is there an open issue on the repo to direct them to or a Slack channel? Uh, I'll follow up on this one. I think there's a Slack there like discussion, but it's currently the individuals, but the issue I think is not yet there. Okay. But I'll follow up in the slide, very slight deck with a link. Awesome. Share. Thanks so much. Any other questions? Okay. Up next, um, projects applying to move levels. Um, so we're going to try something different this time. We're going to be providing a little bit of updates on where things are at to ensure that the community has some transparency and where these are sitting. We understand that many of them have been in flight for a while. It's because we are actively working on multiple efforts um, within projects. Right now, we've got Artifact Hub in active review. I don't see Dave on the call. Yep. Dave, I'm do here. you have it? Anything to add on that one? Um, no, the only thing I'd add was I think last time we talked a little bit about how with Artifact Hub we had stalled for a while because we weren't sure what to do with this type of project. And I think since then we've kind of aligned with the TOC that uh, Artifact Hub should move forward in the process and we're kind of starting to do that. I can't say we've made a ton of progress, but we're, we're getting there. Okay. Keycloak is currently in voting. So folks that are interested in supporting the project moving levels, please uh, check out the mailing list message and you can always plus one to so show support for the project. Uh, Aaron, are you on today? To talk Aaron about is not with us today. That's so right. Hold on those updates. Okay. Uh, Kubeflow Ricardo, an active review. Don't see Ricardo on the call He's either. Also not with us, so move on all right flat car Duffy, nikita and katie um yeah i can talk about it so like the flat car folks uh shared a dd doc with us a couple of days ago so we're going to be reviewing it asynchronously uh we also planning to meet them at like in person at kubecon at the tagran time meeting so uh actively talking to them and it's an active review as well awesome all right grpc justin um, I've reached out to April again. I haven't had heard back, but um, I, I'm going to write up a document about the um, uh, um, about the the things that are open issues, which are mainly around um, around governance and and how we manage that, which has always been the issue. Um, but um, I, I'm I'm trying to arrange a meeting with April. If there's okay. a better contact, I I, um, I think it's still her who's the right person. I think so too. So I think you're running down the right road. Yeah, um, yeah. Let me know if you need help. How's that? All right, Cryo, Kathy, and Nikita. Yeah. So we have completed uh, all the user reviews, and uh, I think we're we are wrapping up um, when the cookcon ends. Yeah, I think it's ready for public comments. All right, and yeah. Kata. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Here is uh, uh, an user uh, review stage. We have completed the review with um, um, Microsoft Azure and also uh, Cisco. We still have, you know, another two to do. Yeah, Ricardo, um, would you like to add anything? Is Ricardo? 
in. He's not on today. Not on today. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and also for the crowd, yeah. Uh, Nikita, whether you have any input? No, I think that sounds about accurate. Okay. Okay. Um, Cilium is, we've completed all the review and it'll go to public comment sometime after KubeCon. Um, for Falco, Justin and I are um, meeting later this week to go over a final review of the project to make sure that everything is in order to move forward with it. Um, Istio is currently in active review between Nikita and myself. Nikita, do you have anything to add? Uh, not really. I think we'll be doing reviews asynchronously for now and start with interviews, interviews later. Okay. Anything else? Amy, did I miss anything? No, I think. Oh, yeah. I think, you know, for Tita projects, Ricardo is also the TLC sponsor. Okay, cool. When right. they need to add that. I'll make sure that gets added. All right. Okay. Um, as a quick update, um, yes. we did make the community aware that on April 4th, which is today, we will be providing some updates uh, to the request on moving levels and making some changes to that process. So please keep an eye out in the Slack channels as well as the mailing list for an update on that. We're just finalizing the messaging on that currently. Does anyone have any questions for the TOC? Matt? Um, I had a brief one, uh, more of a clarification, just based on some of the chat I was seeing. Uh, to be clear, the working group that some community members came together around is not to define the language. It's to do activities such as a broad survey of existing languages, both vendor and open source, attributes of those language, what is important to what different kinds of personas, basically to do all the background work necessary to inform the potential creation of a spec that would be ostensibly in a different open source project. So, so the scope of this work group is really the free work for that uh, in, in an open way uh, to kind of gather the, the supporting materials so that it can be informed. I, I'm, I'm being repetitive. I just want to make that brief clarification. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. And if it's not already on the issue where you're tracking the working group formation, would recommend just adding that language in there. It is. Awesome. Anything else? All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We will see you next time. Thank you all. Thank you. Cool. Bye. Bye. -bye.